as Alfred Alexander Pollitt, nicknamed Alfie Pollitt. I'm uh, the musical director of the John Coltrane House here in Philadelphia. I've been a musician, I've been playing piano since I was three years old, um, and I inherited the music um, baton from my grandfather and my mother and father all, all played music. Uh, in Philadelphia, well, I've been blessed to be around the music scene a long time, you know. Um, on the scene over 60 years, and I was blessed to go experience like um, Music City, which was a um, music store and a place where musicians would study. 17th and uh, Chestnut back in the 50s and 60s, maybe before that time. And I saw a lot of great musicians there. I, I was blessed to experience the, the coffee house scene where musicians played in the coffee houses in the 50s and 60s, uh, great musicians. Every week, you could go to see world-class musicians. You see, might see Herbie Mann at Peps. You might see Miles Davis at Showbook. Simultaneously, the jazz greats, you know, every, you know, every week for years, you know. Well, the music, the importance is when performers perform and there's no audience. It's like a one-way communication. It's like, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, um, in communications theory, you have, uh, um, where in someone is projecting, and then someone's receiving, right? But when when it's projecting and they're just projecting to no audience, it's like uh, it's uh, there's no feedback to enhance uh, what could magically take place, you know. But when you have audience, that really the audience feeds off of the performer, the performer feeds off the audience, and young and old. Uh, need this. It's um, so much history music has, musically has taken place in the Philadelphia area and a lot of the first and uh, um, a lot of the original folk have come from here like the Dizzy Gillespie's and the Coltrane even though they were from like North Carolina and Georgia but they came here and they spent significant time in Philadelphia and as Suzanne Cloud stated in her interview that there is a Philly, you know, uh, um, groove that, that, that can be detected, you know, through uh, musicians that came out here, McCoy Tynes, uh, uh, Jimmy Garrison, uh, Archie Shep, um, Lex Humphreys, Lee Morgan, Bobby Timmons, uh, uh, um, Benny Golson, on and on and on and on. I um, advocate that uh, every month should be uh, Music Appreciation Month. Mm -hmm.